Here we show a two-stage multi-power cylinder and a standard directional control valve. Shop air is directed through the directional control valve to the power input of the multi-power cylinder to the first piston, through the air slots and center shaft, and out through the second piston. This internal airflow to the multiple pistons, which can be two, three, or four in quantity, is unique to Fabco Air's multi-power cylinder. The cylinder extends, forcing air out through the return air port and the directional control valve. The power air on these multiple pistons then produces two, three, or four times the force of a conventional single piston cylinder of the same bore size, and it produces that force for the full stroke, or wherever you need it. When the directional control valve is reversed, the shop air supply is introduced to the single return piston. Most cylinder applications do not require high forces in both directions, allowing for the cylinder to be returned with this single piston. Previously supplied power air is exhausted from the multiple pistons through the center shaft and out through the directional control valve. Fabco Air adapts this unique multi-power principle to cylinders in 10 bore sizes with two, three, or four pistons to produce forces from a few pounds to 22 tons. Multi-power cylinders save in multiple ways, including mounting space savings of 44 to 75 percent and air volume requirement savings of 22 to 37 percent. We have shown you a cylinder with primary push force. Should you require primary pull force, the pistons and baffles are simply reversed at assembly. The cylinder now has multiple pistons and high force in the pull direction, as shown here. By machining ports in the baffles, air can be applied to multiple return pistons, as well as the multiple push pistons, thus providing high force in both directions when required. When multi-power cylinders are used in applications such as punching or shearing, high inertia and impact forces are often encountered. To capture these potentially destructive forces, Fabco Air offers a hydraulic shock and speed control option. Oil from an air oil tank is used for the return medium. This oil passes through a resistance, such as a flow control, which provides speed control of the cylinder. When the material shears and the cylinder tries to complete its stroke, the non-compressible oil resists rapid movement, providing shock and speed control. Apply Fabco Air's multi-power cylinders for multiple savings.